before I review, review, reveal uh, my new toys, I'm going to do an oil change because I need to do that. So, let's get some new oil in here. You know, I had totally forgotten that I had these tow hooks that I could jack from. Um, I guess I never used them because I always had those tiny jacks. But yeah, it's all set up, sturdy, won't go anywhere, won't fall. Pretty sure of that. Man, it is hot. Look at this. I'm glistening. These are the super lows because I really don't want to be hitting any limits when trying to lower my car. Also, probably before I can even lower my car all the way, uh, I might have to get some other parts that allow me to do that without breaking other stuff. But yeah, for the fronts, I got a 26K uh, springs. These are Swift springs and uh, the rears are 16K, which might seem a lot to other people, but uh, that's just how G6 chassis are, you know? heavy but I don't know what I'm talking about so let's go ahead and move on to the installation because I cannot wait any longer to do this so let's go ahead and take those problems off and get started also if you haven't already noticed uh, I'm doing this video in like 30 frames instead of 60 which I've been doing for a little bit I, I just can't decide if I want to do 60 frames or 30 frames but the reason why I'm doing 30 right now is because I set the camera on true 4k mode even though I'm a render video on 2k but if the quality is damn good, I, I might just keep doing it like this and save 60 FPS for like, you know, action stuff like drifting, which I probably won't do for a long time. But hey, who knows? I'm just really trying to find the best quality, especially since this camera seems to just detect a whole bunch of little shakes easily. And it's very annoying. Now I just want you to get the mental picture of uh, how much gap there is here or how much sag there is. Because what's... Once the colors go on, this is not going to even probably be like half the set amount of sag. It's crazy how much it sags on the stock suspension. Colos before, uh, or any suspension like struts, regular struts. Um, it's really simple. So basically, you either have about two or three, which is a common amount of uh, studs up here with nuts. You just gotta remove them. And over here in the bottom, you usually have 
one bolt with a nut on one side or just one bolt or two bolts with two nuts. Those numbers will differentiate from car to car, but that's pretty much all there is to it. You just remove the top bolts, bottom bolts, and bend everything down, take a slide it out. You'll see in a bit, but you'll be able to do it by yourself for the most part. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Either work on the front or the back, like one part at a time. That way you can take the bolts off over here in the front on both sides and this will let everything sag because the, the roll bar usually is here. And if you just take one side off and you try to pull this down, you're like fighting the other side. So just know that. are side by side and yeah that's, that's quite the difference what you think that's a big difference two inches that's a low difference two inches <laughs> <laughs> should be a lot easier going in than out right oh yeah it will definitely be easier <laughs> because it's more narrow and it's a lot shorter so i got all the room to put that in now all right, well, this is the part where I start taking apart the coilover because I'm uh, applying the seeds all over the threads. That way, if I ever want to make future adjustments, I'll be able to without, you know, struggling. And like I say, it's better to be prepared for the unknown than not to be prepared, prepared for the unknown. see up here the upper control arm is a lot higher than it was before at least while sagging so we'll find out here in a bit I'll put on the tire and we'll see what it looks like I do know if I want to be low I'm gonna have to get a shortened uh, spindle like this right here this right here and I get a shortened one that way the upper control arm gets closer down that way I have more uh, height room <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the other one so we can lower it and see where we're standing. The gap is still closed, but I don't think it closed that much. Maybe like an inch. Alright, boils, let's see where she sits. Alright, boils, it is indeed another day. Uh, it took a lot of time yesterday just trying to get the batteries <laughs> recharged because 4K was just eating it up. And uh, yeah, I was just on a constant cycle, just switching batteries. And uh, yeah, um, I also somehow managed to not record when I first dropped the, the car on the front. Um, so I'm gonna make another clip, here it is. But yeah, now it's time to start the rears. And uh, to do that, we gotta take out the back seats, which is pretty simple. Until it's not, yeah. All right, let's get started. Here's the game plan. Uh, I'm gonna try to adjust the coilover uh, to be pretty similar to stock, just cause I'm currently waiting on a fender roller. 
And uh, if I don't, if I don't uh, limit it, I'm definitely gonna be hitting on this fender. So I'm gonna have to do that, run it like that for a little bit until I get the fender roller in. And then uh, we'll try not to make bacon out of this and up there too. But there's some, there's a clearance up there, so we're fine there, but whenever I get bigger wheels, <laughs> that's gonna be a different story. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, adjust it and start putting it in. Yeah, actually in the middle of uh, adjusting this, I just remembered that stock suspension does have a lot of sag, so that should be fine. We're gonna we're gonna start with that, and yeah, like you just see how much it droops down once I put that coil over. It's gonna sit up a lot more. Well, like I said, it wasn't going to be that low, but uh, let's see if uh, the suspension is stiff or not. I'm going to jump in the trunk. Oh, she's stiff, all right. All right, well, there you have it, guys. That's the end of the video. I don't know what happened to the original ending, uh, but it, I can't find it, so I must have actually deleted it. But, anywho, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and... Yeah, very soon we're going to be doing fender rolling and trying to lower the car some more. But until then, till next time, catch you later. See ya.